It's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bad Intentions. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker... Oh! oh, he might be out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Wow! He's hurt. He's hurt. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Very tricky when he throws that body kick.
Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Way to hide that leg stick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That's how you finish your fight. Punch. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Just over three minutes to go. Whiffs on the right hand. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. What a body kick. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh! Oh! Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. Oh, nice jab. <laughs> Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head kick. Let's go. Keep that nice one two there. Big kick land. with that punch. Oh, huge spinning kick. Trying to establish that jab. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Huge block there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, missed on that one. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. in the books. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Big call from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Kick to the body by Lee. So a block on the strike, and now the counter jab for good measure. Nice job by the longer fighter there. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad job. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he lands a 
huge knee to the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just missed with the left there. Get the turn on and that kick. Still a nice body kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one. Yeah. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a toughness to even be on his feet right now. Wow. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Just over three minutes to go. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Like it did start him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Liver kick. How good is that right hand? Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? the straight left hand. Let your hands go. Let well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses with that one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice right hand. Just out of range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Separate. Went inside on that leg kick through the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Ten seconds, let's go, baby. Ten Ten seconds, seconds to go in the round. That was stuck in. Nice play. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. 
keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Beautiful knockdown. Wow, that could have been a 10-8 round for you. But we want to finish. So moving forward, we know this. You ready? You ready? Nice, sneaky head kick. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Real sneaky body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Set it up. Oh! Oh, and Island strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Just misses with the jab. Big knee to the body! Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. What a punch. pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You've got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of Ace. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice punch there. Oh, straight right. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, right under the elbow, right under the perfect. It was 
a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent react violently from that punch. Waning seconds here of round number three. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at it. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent is trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. That's a big strike. Time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> I didn't do nothing but butt mashes. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents don't walk in the room and watch you guys do that fatigue. This is embarrassing. Learn to play the game. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean. If he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Attack that Make it pay for it. Effective punch there by Lee. His misses are out of Just out of range with the straight left hand. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, five seconds of round number four, we're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that.
And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution.